Hi guys, welcome to Techno News episode 29. I just want to say a big thank you. I am really grateful for all the support I've received recently. Uh, we've made a good push towards the monetization targets. I've still got a long way to go, um, but we are getting there. If you wouldn't mind subbing to the channel if you haven't already done so, hit the thumbs up for this video as well, that would be appreciated. Leave some feedback in the comments um, to generate some sort of communications as well, that'd be very nice. And if you wouldn't mind just letting the video play in all the way through, or if you have already watched it once, let it run again, or watch some of my other videos, even just play them in the background while you're doing other stuff, just to try and boost me viewing hours would be very much appreciated. And ring the bell to get alerts for when new content goes live. Very grateful, thank you. Right, so the, the main news still seems to be around staff layoffs and things it's a bit sad really following the news that riot were laying off so many staff and ubisoft previously it looks like microsoft activision blizzard are joining in with that and they've announced they're laying off 1900 staff um the saddest part for this for me personally is that it seems to be pretty much the full physical media department that's been laid off. Which seems to be more they're trying to push us towards a digital only environment for gaming going forward. Obviously, this has been going on for a while now. This chat's always been there or there about, but it just seems like there's actually things getting put in place now to make it happen. Uh, there's rumours going around that there's going to be a release of a new Xbox Series X which is also going to be digital only like the Series S was. So it looks like they are trying to make a push towards getting us to be digi only sooner rather than later. Similarly, game, the store over here in the UK, one of the main retail outlets for video games and computer accessories and stuff, um, have announced that this month, well, next month, sorry, February the 19th, I think it is, uh, they're going to stop taking in tradings of all games as well. Um, so again, it's sort of pushing people away from doing the old tradings, trying to collect retro and things like that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit sad. So it looks like m more things are going to be heading digital only sooner rather than later. Obviously, there's all the subscription services and things like that aren't helping the Xbox Game Pass and PlayStation Network and things like that. They do offer a lot of value. Um, so I can sort of see why it's happening. It's just really sad. Um, like I said, the collection of the old retro stuff as well it might take a bit of a hit. Obviously the prices are, are rocketing anyhow. But I've got a feeling they're just going to get even more silly. Which is sad because my NES actually packed in last week. I, I was trying to play um, one of the old games on my NES and I got the flashing light on the power button. I think it's the connector where they, like on the game slot. I'm in two minds whether to replace it or just use me game stick that I've got where you can sort of play all the old games anyhow, to be honest. It's, it, again, it, it, I don't know how much the parts are going to be and stuff now, but... I might have a look at that and see what that's all about. Um, speaking of things failing, the day before devs have resurfaced. Um, you might recall that they went into hiding not long after the game flopped massively. Um, but they did put out a little bit of a statement recently saying that the game failed due to hate campaigns by bloggers and creators. Nothing to do with the fact that the game was a load of shit. It's the bloggers putting it down. Like I said, the game got pulled a few days after its actual release because it got absolutely burnt with the reviews. More for the fact that it was underwhelming and it wasn't the game that they advertised. I'm sure when they were first talking about the game, it was going to be a ma massive MMO zombie survival type game. But when it released... It was like a very limited tarkov style looter extraction type thing where you just had to run and get stuff. The maps weren't that big, they were quite empty, there was no real zombies or anything in there. It was just more players, to be honest. Um, and you just had to run and grab some loot and get the extraction point and get out. Um, it all became a bit of a joke because of this. 
but I kind of see this outburst helping them in any way. Um, as far as I'm aware, I'm sure they were sort of took everybody's money and ran. Um, but yeah, that's a bit of a strange one. Uh, similarly, speaking of running jokes with games that people think were possibly fake, because that game was in development for so long, people didn't even know it was actually going to come out at all, but it did eventually, and it was awful. Um, hopefully it won't be the same for Skull and Bones. Uh, Ubisoft have announced there's going to be a, a beta running from the 8th to the 11th of February. It became a bit of a meme, much like the day before, because of its time in hiding and getting pulled and extended and it was all a bit strange but i think it was announced around the same time as bloody sea of thieves and that was about 10 years ago now so it's it's all a bit strange a lot of people were hoping it's going to be more of a mmo assassin's creed black flag kind of game but we'll see um if there's going to be sort of shipboarding and combat and stuff like that it might be fun but yeah it's not doing very well in the build up shall we say but we'll see what that's all about next week when it finally comes to beta a state in germany are pushing for a ban on loot boxes this is something that i'm um, got a bit of an eye on it'll be interesting to see what comes of it all um in the light of the with all the ultimate teams and yeah it seems to be a, a big thing but there's a lot of people concerned about it being gambling for kids and things like that so a state in germany is pushing for a ban on in-game loot boxes and it's going to get pushed through their parliament and discussed at a national level uh, currently over there the only action that's in effect is to state that loot boxes are available in the game on the game's covers and things and it's supposed to be factored into the age rating given appropriately based on that but the new proposals set to see banning of loot boxes social casino games premium currency and live streaming of games that include loot boxes so all those streams where people are unpacking fifa stickers and stuff um it could take a bit of a hit but i think there's going to be a long drawn out process around that so it'll be interesting just to keep an eye on and see what's happening and see how the germans handle it and see if anything comes of it over these shores or in america and things like that uh, they're also proposing that id verification should be required how they'll implement that i don't know but uh, again it's something to keep an eye on and see what's said it's getting proposed this week i think so we'll see what happens in the future with that um streamer drama as always some Florida Joker is a bit of a dumpty to be honest, but he's threatened to sue Rockstar over the use of his image in the GTA 6 trailer. Apparently wants 10 million from them, but now he's also asking them for a bigger part in the game, wants to voice his character and whatever else. Absolute Muppet. But there we go. And lastly... Uh, Pokemon looks like she's leaving Twitch. No word as to where she's going. Obviously, Kick put one of their mock up tweets out saying she was heading there for so much money or whatever, but nothing's been officially confirmed yet. No big loss to me. It's being the arse, anyhow, to be honest, but um, I'm sure she'll get a big pee out somewhere and live a long and prosperous life on the back of that. But yeah, um, so yeah that's pretty much the news for now um let us know what you think in the comments if you think i've missed anything if you want to discuss any of the points feel free to either mention it in the comments or come by one of my live streams live from around 10 o'clock p.m uk most nights here on youtube um i just nearly died there because something just fell down in the shed and I wasn't expecting it because there's not a lot in the to fall, to be honest. But yeah, um, let us know what you think. Any feedback's good feedback. Remember to hit the thumbs up, sub to the channel if you haven't already done so, and let the video play through. And maybe watch a few more, if you wouldn't mind. That'd be very much appreciated. In the meantime, have a good day.
and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers for watching.